Hello and welcome to What's Your Story? We have an interesting guest today. Her name is Gina Gelbach Hall. And Gina, when I met her years ago, was a firefighter. But today we're not talking about fires. We are talking about her incredible photography work. And she has become one of Las Vegas leading photographers. And we're gonna show you some great pictures. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm oh. always excited to be here with you. <laughs> well, I'm excited too. I, you know, I had the good fortune uh, to work with Gina on her book, Fire Gal, um, what was the rising subtitle? From, rising from the Ashes, Fire yeah. Gal, Gal, Rising from the Ashes. Great book, if you ever want to read a fabulous story about firefighters, uh, that was it. I mean, I look at you and you're such a tiny little thing, it's hard for me to believe you were a firefighter, but... Uh, I was in better shape than thinner back then. <laughs> but now you're a photographer. What got you into photography? You know what? I, I think I've always had the bug for it. <clears throat> when we would go on family trips, I was never in the photos because I was always behind the camera taking pictures. And um, I just always loved doing it. And um, so I, I think when I retired, I had more time. So I started just taking, and I was traveling more. So I was taking my camera out and using it a lot more and having um, tons of fun with it. And then I was like, well, now what? I have, you know, like 35,000 pictures <laughs> in my, my iPhoto directory. And, the, yeah. and I'm like, okay, now what? And um, so then I started thinking about, well, what could I do with them? Where could I take it to the next level? So that's mm. where I was at. Yeah, and you're so creative with your photography. You have Thank some you. amazing, amazing things. Show us some of your work. Okay, um, let's see. This was one on one of my travels. It was um, called Between the Lines, and this was a statue in Norway on a street corner, and there was about a series, about four or five of them. And so I took the picture, and then I didn't like the background because it was all the traffic and the people and all that. Mm -hmm. So I took all the background out and just have it like that. So yeah. that was one of them. That's one of the things I love like about your work is you take the picture and then you change things in it to make it real creative like you change the background yeah very creative I do but part of the reason why is because I um I didn't have a very good camera <laughs> <laughs> oh that's interesting yeah I didn't it, I mean I totally and and when I talked to people about, you know, getting into photography, I had this wonderful experience of a mother coming up to me after a show and she said, hey, I'd love to have you talk to my daughter about photography. She's getting interested. She was about 14, 15. And uh, what could you like mentor her, help her out with things? I said, the first thing is don't go buy a professional camera. Go get one. I had one from Costco with two lenses. And for 20 years, I used that one. Mm. And so like this one, um, I, it wasn't the same quality of the cameras I have now. I've just recently, about a year and a half ago, upgraded to the professional cameras. Now I have two professional cameras with a lens coming in today. So like seven different lenses, huge big investment. But I'm glad I had that yes. that other one because um, it made me learn a whole bunch of more skills around photography, right. like how to mask a background, how to <laughs> clean it up and use different programs in different ways that um, now my art is actually changing a little bit yeah. because of it. And so some of the, I think the rest of these are all, well, no, here's one from my, well, now that I told you all that, these are pretty, I bring my better ones. <laughs> <laughs> This well, of is course, one. that's what we yeah. should do. This is one I, I got to look at. Nelson at night. And if you are a budding photographer in town in Las Vegas, then you definitely want to go out to Nelson's Landing. Mm. And um, I got involved. And you also want to get involved with a lot of meetups and stuff like that around photography. So this was a class they had down in Nelson's Landing at night. And so um, we went down there. We took pictures. And they provided all the lighting. So I all it. I had to do. I know. I, I think it's, it's beautiful. I don't really show this one in competition because everybody goes down to Nelson's. <laughs> so, <laughs> so everybody has the same everybody picture. Everybody has the same picture. <laughs> um, this was a fun one coming back from um, Tell a Story. Ooh. Yeah, this one I like. And it is um, the petroglyphs outside of Laughlin coming home in Christmas Tree Pass. Wow. They have an amazing area down there. So what I love is I get to go down to these areas and find something that's interesting and then bring it home. Yes. And kind of it, the memory comes with me. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so, beautiful. I love yeah, that. I thought it was. And I, I always think of uh, graffiti like this mm -hmm. is ancient graffiti. This is probably a daycare center. And they told their kids, go out there and, and hammer on rocks. <laughs> <laughs> keep us out of your hair. Keep them out of their hair. <laughs> Now, I'm sure that's not really no, true, but you I'm know. Sure not. <laughs> but it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> so, um, this one is street art, um, and it's off of um, Fremont Street here mm. in Las Vegas. So, mm. yeah, this was a street artist. Um, I took some liberties with it and made it more. It's kind of like a nice Halloween one. I call it Wanton. So, that was a fun one to do. And let's see. Oh, this is one of my new things is using um, objects in, in my photography, like the glass ball and stuff. Um, I just found there they, that for me, photos should in, ignite the imagination. I like that. And um, sometimes we can look at scenery and I think to myself, you know, scenery is just scenery, you know, and what makes it interesting? What pops it? What makes it like, what, what is that? You know, and I, I have people ask me, did you Photoshop that in? I said, no, I have a glass ball. It's <laughs> that size. And I put it, we, we were out, a friend of mine was, and I were out doing a photography shoot down in Calico Canyon out by Red Rock. And I just found, actually he found this, this branch kind of on the ground. And I said, that would be a cool little canvas mm -hmm. for the glass ball so we put it in there and I probably took a hundred shots and this is the one I had I love I that was favorite. absolutely beautiful yeah. it was actually an award winner it won a first place in yeah. a competition you know it's it's interesting because the color things are really beautiful but this one has that element of black and white mm -hmm. then just a touch of color that makes it really creative. Yeah, I think it goes with that old look of the wood and everything like that. Yeah. So those are a few of the pieces. I have some other pieces. Yeah, I have a whole website of pieces. Oh, I'm sure you do. Yeah. What you is know. your website? Firegaldesigns.com. Firegaldesigns.com. Yes. Okay. Yes. Don't forget that. Firegaldesigns.com. <laughs> with the S okay. yes. uh, What is something that you would tell people who are interested in becoming a photographer? Well, um, the first thing is don't invest in a lot of equipment until you know what you like, mm -hmm. um, because uh, there are a plethora of lenses out there for different aspects, for totally different ways of shooting. And um, it, and it's, it's a learning curve, you know, when you start photography. Like for years, I did everything on auto, meaning I let the camera figure out the settings. It's only been in the last year or so that I've done everything on manual. Mm -hmm. So I'm setting it up and telling the camera how I want it to view right. the object. Um, it take, It's a skill set. And so, you know, go out there and figure out what you like to do and then invest in the newer camera, then invest in the newer lenses. But along the way, take a lot of classes, get involved with a gallery. I think getting involved with City Lights Art Gallery in Henderson has been a wonderful experience because I've been able to be in a community of fellow artists, not just photographers, but fellow artists, mm -hmm. and um, been able to share a lot of it. Like I had never matted, and um, one of the guys at the came in one day and he says, "Yeah, I'm selling my matting machine. I have a, I'm getting a new one." And I, he says, "I was going to put it on sale at the gallery." I said, "Consider it sold. I'll take it." <laughs> <laughs> so he came in later that day with some mat boards and showed me how to do it. Now I mat all my own things. Oh wow, that's yeah, wonderful! Saving tons of time and money, uh -huh. and then I can print it up how I want it to look, and then give it the look I want. Yes. So. Yes. Um, just really get involved, start going to classes, start uh, tons of YouTube out there, tons of training things. In fact, it can be almost overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Figure out what you like and then go from there. Yes, and, oh, and, definitely. And just start snapping away. It's amazing what we can learn on YouTube, isn't it? I know. Yeah, I know. Mac Jackson, who has a show here on our station, he always says to me, well, just go to YouTube University and learn. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't have enough time for all the videos. I, I know, I know. But the nice thing about city lights is like you say the community the community there's there's artists mm -hmm. of all genres there and does that influence your photography that you see something in sculpture uh, or in painting or um yes in a lot of ways of uh, the compositions mm -hmm. and I, I would and i was saying to something to somebody the other day we went through a class and they talked about composition i think you some people naturally have an eye for composition and some don't Yes. And you can usually tell when you look at the picture and it doesn't. It's like, you're like, oh, is that? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Yeah, something's <laughs> weird. Doesn't mean it's always bad, but, you know, composition 
plays a lot into it. And I, I, I feel like I've got a little bit of a natural eye for composition, but now that I'm really thinking about composition, I'm, you know, looking at things differently. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. not only other artists, but other photography. Now I'm on huge amount of sites where I see daily photography, um, some of the best of the best on Facebook. I'm a, I'm a fa I'm old. I'm on Facebook, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I I follow a lot of photography there, and just seeing good photography helps improve your art. Yes. Now now where the the artist the other artists have come in play is one time I I ordered a canvas up. And I couldn't bring it because it has a green background, so I mm -hmm. couldn't show it because it would just float in the air. But, <laughs> but um, I, I did this beautiful canvas, and I had screwed up the background when I masked it. And sometimes on a computer screen, it you don't see it, but when you blow it up, it's now glaring error on it. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to throw this away. So I asked one of the other artists there that does painting, and I mm -hmm. said, could you salvage this for me? Just, you know, kind of match in the background. She was able to do that, save my whole brand. Wow. That's <laughs> I said, now it's multimedia. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely multimedia. Yeah. And you can't even tell. So I've been able to use them for other skills, like fixing some of my photography. But yeah, um, it worked out really great that I was able to have that. I... I totally like amazed at your art because I can't do a stick figure. <laughs> Save so, my life. <laughs> Chris and I was Chris and I were talking about that stick figure thing. You know, a lot of people say to me when I say I teach art, they say, "Oh, I couldn't do that. I can't draw a stick figure." And I say, "Good. I don't want any stick figures in my class." So, you know, I'm glad you can't I, do that. I, yeah, I can't. Oh, I I would I don't know what I I, so I envy you a lot that you have that skill, but I can look at it on a computer and manipulate it and take pictures. I know pictures your and stuff. stuff is amazing. Thank I, you. I shouldn't use the word stuff. Your art is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because you do beautiful work. Thank you. And I believe photography and painting seem to go hand in hand. We we. Um, I know I do both, so I, mm -hmm. I look at them and I, I love them. I love mm -hmm. them both. But one of the things that I really enjoy about photography is being able to crop things down and get a whole different picture, and you do that. I do that. I had a stunning picture I took at the sand dunes with another of my glass balls. Lovely picture, but it was like a big panorama kind of one. and. Um, I was looking at it, I really liked the picture, but I didn't like the composition yeah. of it. I ended up cropping it down, and it's been one of my best sellers, you know, just by reorientating it and mm -hmm. sometimes just flipping it will make a big difference on how it works. Yeah. So it's kind of fun, and I like the creative part of that. Mm -hmm. You know, my husband really likes sports. I'm not into sports. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to say I did all my art while he was watching sports. Yes, <laughs> you know? yeah. He would be doing that. I'd be pulling my photography off, you know, and then putting it into my various programs and seeing what I could do with it. But like I said, since I've gone to my more professional cameras, I'm probably doing less of um, some of the more creative fine art stuff and more of just straight photography well the camera does a lot of it for oh, you yeah. you it's know now amazing. nowadays you can get cameras that do almost everything it's, um, yeah. it's fascinating now if if i wanted to study art here in vegas where would i go your backyard <laughs> <laughs> okay good I, I think so you know i mean obviously the places we've already talked about youtube you know meetups i mean you can go to school i'm not formally trained i literally just picked up a camera when i was young and um, just snapped pictures you know, thousands and thousands and thousands. And of look them. at all the awards you've won. You've won tons of awards I with have. your photography. I make more money on awards than I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> isn't that horrible? I would sell, buy my art. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that yeah, interesting? That is, but it, I like it because I'm competitive by nature, and mm -hmm. so it's fun for me because um, another friend of mine in the gallery, he he competes as well, and so it's kind of always like, well, what are you putting in? What are you putting in? You know, so yeah. it's kind of a friendly competition, but also brings up my art because now I'm looking at things through many different lenses. You know, I'm looking not literally, but mm -hmm. figuratively, you know, like, is this one good for competition or is this one good to sell? This yeah. is, you know, so I'm getting a better eye the longer I do it. Um, it but really where I hone my skills was through philanthropy work. 
<laughs> and now that's interesting that yeah. photography kind of really got you into the philanthropy or vice versa? What vice versa. It? The philanthropy got me into um, to doing um, my photography, really, to taking it to the next level. I had always been more of a hobbyist and never showed. And um, where I was volunteering, I ended up kind of getting because I asked and kind of have a skill for graphic designing. And so I'm not formally trained there, but I always had a good eye for things. And so I started doing for about three years was our graphic designer for the whole organization. And then I, I got, um, I, I made somebody mad. And so I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I got fired because they just told me don't do it anymore. But, it, it, you know, they always say there's always a silver lining. You get mm -hmm. fired and change up. It was probably the best thing that ever happened to me because what I was spending an incredible amount of time um, learning and perfecting and doing graphic designing. So that took me from you know, like pages on a Mac to yes. doing I, InDesign and iPhoto and getting real familiar with those programs um, just to keep up and because my creative skills were, my creative thoughts were overpacing my skill level. I see, so yes. I was having to learn new skills. So when I got fired and my friend always goes, you didn't get fired. I said, I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> when I got fired, I I started really, I had a lot more time. And so I started really getting into the photography and s applying some of the same things I learned from the graphic design mm -hmm. skills to my photography. And that's really where it took off. And then it was like, hey, you know, I've got a portfolio now and yes. it's not making me any money in my computer. Let me go find a, a, a gallery. And right. I had looked at a couple of galleries and what I really loved is I actually, my home gallery is City Lights Art Gallery. They're my favorite because they're just so friendly and so nice and embracing and from well, it's beginner a, to advanced. Yes, and it's a, um, a collaborative. I mean, it's mm -hmm. owned by the... Members, yeah, the members yeah. own the gallery, so it's yeah. not like uh, there's a gallery director that no. says, no, you can't, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's one of the things I really like about it. And, and there's also volunteer opportunities. I'm mm. on the I'm on the board as a member at large, and uh, I, I myself and another member were instrumental in getting our new website. So if you haven't gone on to citylights.org, go on it. Um, we just revamped our logo and our website. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. I can't oh, wait to see it. Oh, it's fabulous. It's oh, fabulous. So we have a great calendar showing all the events so um, I was a big instrumental part in getting that going so again using my graphic design skills using my my um my, I, I don't know. That's what I love about volunteering is you always learn new skills. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I could sit at home and learn how to, you know, work the remote or I could go to, a, you know, <laughs> go to, I mean, I, I tell everybody, I just ended up getting a big bump in responsibilities as I'm president elect of my current one I'm at in a different um, nonprofit. That's the assistance league. Assistance league. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm president elect this year, so I'll be president next year. Whew, takes a whole year to learn the job. <laughs> But I love the challenge of it. You know, that I, I, I keep telling everybody, I really have a part-time job now that I don't get paid for. Yes, yes. <laughs> but I love it because the skills. So there's a whole nother level of skills mm -hmm. that I'm having to learn and having to get the cobwebs off that were there from before. And then seeing where my skills transferable. You yes, know? yes. And actually my art transforms a lot of it because I end up doing a lot of charts and graphs and and some of the graphic design like I just did their invitation for their their big um, member event in November so I've got to use my skills again Great. and Great. I think that all kind of shows up again in the art uh -huh. you uh -huh. know. well your art is amazing Thank I love you. your photography as you know I own a few pieces of it myself <laughs> I, I every time I see it, I just like wow. Aww. She's gotten so good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for being here. I really, really appreciate you sharing your story with us on what's your story. And yeah. it, would you like to tell the audience how they can contact you if they'd like to? The best way is firegaldesigns.com. That's my website. You can see all my artwork there and some of my other um, projects that I work on. And you can also get a hold of me through firegaldesigns at gmail.com. So those are the two best ways. Great. And we can also see your work at City Lights in Henderson, right? It's City Lights Art Gallery. I usually always have a few pieces up there. And my book, uh, Fire Gal Rising from the Ashes, is available on Amazon in both Kindle and um, 
print. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you again. Thank, thank you for you. being here. And thank you for being here. We always love having you with us on What's Your Story, and we'll have more exciting stories for you very soon.